you're gonna lose your favorite spot but not really because it's only coming out 10 feet just about where your head's at you'll still be able to lay in front of it it may be high enough for you guys to get under it that would be cool huh getting ready to go out and work in the shed and I'm gonna take you along for a little bit it is a very slow process with this pegboard business that I'm dealing with takes a while and I'm not getting any kind of rush but I'll take you along show you what we're going to do today and see how much we can get done I ain't set no goal whatever gets done gets done I just got back from the feed store. I had to change who I do business with because the feed store that carried the kind of food that my dogs eat, well, they still carry it. But here was the problem, and, and this has been the problem every time I go there. Um, these little towns, you know, everybody all meets up and they have their coffee, and, you know, they're called hanger-outers. I will never be a hanger-outer. They get up, it's old men, they get up every morning. They go hang out there. But the problem is this. The last time I went to get dog food, there wasn't a parking spot anywhere. Nowhere. And I got some mad. And I went in and they're all sitting. They got picnic benches in there. They're all sitting there drinking coffee. Not a place to park for customers. So I went to the other feed store. He didn't carry it, but he ordered it for me. So I went and picked up two bags. He's going to keep it in stock. So I do business there. So what's the moral of the story? If you want to have a business, it's not a social gathering place. Otherwise, you're not going to have business. I know. Let's go see Rooster. Now she, kind of dark in here, guys, but this light ought to do all right, this camera. She has not been feeling well, or she's going through one of her acts. But I know she's fine. She just got up when I made bacon and eggs and had some bacon and eggs. And drank water. And your nose is nice and moist and your ears aren't warm. She's a hypochondriac, that rooster. Tell him. I threatened to take you to the doctor. I told them they told you they was going to give you a shot. They will. All right, let's stop in. Look at the other pooches and get to work. That one. That boy. 
always frog dogging. See, he don't hear me come in. What are you doing, boy? You gonna tell the people something? And Lily. Oh, did I hit you in the eyeball? I did. She's, she gets all flustered. That's my boy. All right, I gotta get to work, guys. I gotta get to work. Let's put your cool machine on. Uh-huh. It's gonna be warm today a little bit. Cool machine is on, okay? Waldo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's put your fan on twirly twirl. There it is. Let's turn it up. What that does, boy, is it takes the cool from the cool machine, okay? And it fooshes it. Fooshes it all around the walls so that you feel cool. And you. We got to get you guys new beds. These things are sagging. You're wearing them out. Let me get you. I should have kept the big ones that I had. Okay, we got to go now. I got to work. Got to take these people in the shed. Teach them a lesson. Yeah, say goodbye. I got a couple of girls here. Look how dirty you are from laying in the, in the dirt. You're all dirty. Do a shake. You got a dirty nose. Here comes your sister. Yeah, with that big old floppy tail and the big old floppy ears. I know. Well, I got to get some work done, guys. You going to help? I don't think you will. You got the life now, Melly. You too. And they're the best of friends. That's what Tilly needs to do because she's got mud. Look at all this dirt on her. Look at her. Look at you. Okay, now the ceiling is completely done. Uh, I, I've went over the entire thing with caulk. You don't see any gaps. It turned out well. Uh, maybe a little bit of touch-up paint with the black. And what I did the last, well, probably two days, <laughs> I'm starting on the side over here. Uh, you know, trying to do this trim and stuff. It's a little, little detailed. Got, got some weird angled cuts. Uh, so I've got like that trim piece goes up. I'm basically following what they've got over here because I made a mistake when I did this. I didn't, I painted those, these boards white and I should have painted them black. Well, I didn't know what I was really going to do when I started. Now I know. So the white shows through, which is fine. I'm just going to follow with the trim like I did there. You won't see it. I could take a marker, getting them little holes and blacking that out, but no need for that. Now there was a bit of a gap in the pegboard and all you do here is I cocked it and then I'm going to paint it. You won't see it. Of course I cut out for the vents. Uh, could have done a little better job there, but when all the vents and stuff are in place, you're not going to see that. And I put up a shelf here. This is actually the old bar top. You remember when I tore out the bar in the house, these were the big thick uh, boards that were actually the bar top. And I painted them. You're not gonna be able to see up here, so I'm not gonna worry about touching anything up. Uh, but man, just, they're strong. Okay, so they're gonna be able to hold things. Uh, I'm probably gonna put some kind of lights back there. Maybe some, uh, what do you call it, the LED lights for effect. Man, I don't know. So this side needs to come. Now I've got my electrical wire. I'm gonna take my multi-tool and I'll channel in that board and so that's recessed in there and out of the way. That is really the only electrical that's going to get done. And this is just temporary. I'm gonna take some conduit and hide this really nice. Uh, this is really the only thing that's getting electricity from the house, the air conditioner and these lights. And let's turn my fan on. This one, yeah, okay. When I first put this in, it, it was having trouble with the fan getting started. You'd have to give it a little bump. But I think it's worked itself out of that. So today what I'm gonna do, sorry to yell so loud, 
There's just a few more strips to put here. Then I'm going to move to this door. Okay, I'm not going to leave the door like that. That's ugly. It needs to be framed out. But I'm going to also put pegboard here. Uh, I, I haven't decided if I'm just going to insert it inside here. Or make, I think I'm going to make the whole thing pegboard because it would be handy to be able to hang stuff on that. Coats, whatever you want to hang on, on a pegboard. So we're probably going to do it that way. Uh, I am going to take these off. The only, per, the only reason these are on here is for stability. So if you, if you don't do anything else, you know, it keeps the door from warping. But when I put the pegboard and trim it out, that should make it sturdy enough. I don't need those things. I'm going to take them off. And I'll keep them. If I need to put them back on, I can. And we still got to build steps out there and do a floor. Yes, I spilled some paint. Like you ain't never spilled paint. All right, man, I'm wasting time. Let's get to work. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today. You know, like I said, this ain't no race, but I, I am anxious to get in here and get, get to doing some projects. So at least we're almost done with that. Do a little touch up paint, two more strips. Those are very easy cuts there. Put those on. Let's start that now, get that done. And then we can move on to the door. Now that these are painted, I went. They're dry, so I went ahead and shut them because I want to get this bug. Get! I leave the windows open or the doors open for ten minutes, and you guys just can't wait. I gotta catch him, throw him out there because he's gonna drive me batty. Anyway, I want to get my measurements with the doors closed, just like they are. I think what I'm gonna do, uh, since since those are four by eight, I think I'm just gonna cut. Two sections for each door. Uh, I should be able to get all those out of one sheet. I hope. And then we'll put them on and we'll go from there. Well, I, what I do before I put, I'll fit them. Then I paint them. And then go ahead and put them on. And then we'll, I've, I've got, I'm out of trim. I've got these boards. You guys remember these I took out of the, when I did the remodel in the cabin. I took these off the wall and that's what I've been using. I've just been paint, painting them white, but that's the last one. So I got to dig more out and get them painted. It's a slow, long drawn out process, but we'll, we'll get it done. I want to at least get this door finished today. Uh, you know, that's going to make the difference. Then we won't have to see that anymore other than, you know, what's up there. 
So we'll get that covered. Amazingly, you would think when you put this stuff up that you could see this through the holes, but you can't. As shiny as it is, you've really got to struggle. I mean, I can't, you, you got to get a certain way to see it. You can see it, but it's not obvious. Okay, like, like the white that you could see through there, you could see that. So I just went ahead and did one coat of black. That's going to take away, you know, you don't want this color poking through. It's, it's, it's like everything I do, I got I to gotta paint before I put it up, like when I did the ceilings in the, in the cabin. So let me get these pieces on the sawhorse. Let me get some measurements and see what we're going to get out of one sheet, because I only have two sheets. And according to my math, that's all I should need to finish uh, that piece up there. Uh, that one's going to be actually easier than this one, but look here. I got this piece left from doing that. I got me a Christmas tree for this year. <laughs> I know. I ain't got to go out and buy no Christmas tree. I'm just going to, I can hang it right on the wall and take it down and in very little storage space. I used to have a brain like that. All right, I'm going to make my first cut. Uh, first cut is here here and here I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this whole piece off then I can reposition it on the saw horses my rule of thumb is measure once cut twice and that's what I did uh, this is a a fine cut saw blade I don't think you necessarily have to have it it is very dull right now I forget what I bought this for to cut uh, but I can't find the other one go figure so we're going to go ahead and cut this piece off. Now, as you might think, this is easy to cut. It isn't. Uh, especially if you're cutting where these holes are and you're hitting these holes every time. So try to get, stay in between these holes. It goes a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off. I'm going to stop right there and zip that piece off so I can get up in there so I can reach all the way in. <laughs> you got to think smart, man. You just, you do. go always wear a safety mask and safety glasses when you're cutting this stuff because it's masonite i don't know what masonite is but it ain't pretty so wear your mask wear your eye protection that's all i got to say about that get on out here Okay, there's one. Nope. 
dirty, 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 dirty. And just take you some sandpaper. Yeah, knock off them burrs. Dangleberries. Whatever you want to call them. Real simple. What is this? It's a flaw. Ah, man. I'll put that inside. Hey, that's all right. Trim's going to cover that. So, it is going to go something like this. Now, I get a different measurement up here than I do down there. It's wider down there. So, and I've encountered that on this whole build. You know, just because it's built somewhere else don't mean it's right. So, we're going to tack this up temporarily and then I'm going to get a measurement for the bottom one and we'll, we'll stick that up. And there's going to be plenty. And I don't know if we're, we're not, I don't think we're going to get it off one sheet. Uh, we're going to get maybe two more off one sheet. I guess. Let me get a couple of screws here and stick those up. I'm going to find my bit, man. There's my bit. I'm using just deck screws, an inch and a quarter, because it's what I got. I don't like wearing a shirt with no pocket. So you know what you do? You ain't got no pocket. Unless you're in California, you've heard me tell it before. If you put these screws in your mouth, and you reside in the state of California, you're going to get cancer. See? You're just going to. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's go over this way. Mm-hmm. Mm. And we are putting trim. So let's put one in each corner. What nurse? Oh, got that metal plate there. Well, now it slipped. Mm. And hold on. There's a smooth side and there's a rough side. Put the rough side in. This is much easier to paint. Uh, actually, this stuff is really simple to paint. Actually, we can paint it right as it sits. We don't have to pull it back off, so I'm going to go ahead and tack her down. Now, we'll put some thin trim all the way around and in the middle. Stupid plate. Okay. Put a few more here. We'll call it good. And you really, you can't see the, that foil back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me get these cut and I'll come back and then we'll get it painted. And yeah, I already showed you that up there. Uh, so hopefully we can get this done today. Then I gotta dig out some wood for trim, get that painted. So maybe I can get that done. There it is. Okay, got this piece cut. And as you 
can see I got to go up but it's if I put a if I put this board down it's too high so we're going to use economics you know economics where you use leverage and things like that so this little thing here will work just fine look at that and just mm -hmm. then I'll raise it up don't even need to it's there uh-huh get me a screw smooth side out get a couple more on the top and we are good that metal thing all right and don't drive these in deep or they will push right through <clears throat> Just bring them snug. And take out the economic thing. That's all you got to do. All right. We'll get these other two cut. Then we'll paint it. You like painting. out of square big time but that little gap there isn't going to make any difference it's going to have going to have trim around it anyway answer my answer to everything is trim i mean it, it's got to have it anyhow then i need to paint that strip this there's nothing on the building this color must have been a piece of scrap they used which is fine that's good sturdy stuff so i'm gonna get this painted and we're gonna call it a day and move on i'm gonna have to pick up one more sheet because even my scraps i have i don't want to piece that together that's too those cuts are too uh, it's too difficult to do patchwork and i don't want to do that so we'll get it another piece tomorrow those i bought local uh you can see the difference in the color but locally these are 26 dollars a sheet which is very high I think they're around 20 might even be $19 at Lowe's or Home Depot. But I only thought I needed, you know, started out with four. This took four pieces. Four full sheets to, uh, for each half. So we got eight sheets there. No, I'm sorry. Or did we? Yeah, yeah. I think four. Or maybe it was two. I don't know. So I think we got eight, ten sheets all together. Yeah, because I went and bought another four. I had four, went and bought another four, and did that, and then I picked up another two. So we're in 10 sheets. So about 200 and eh, almost $300 in pegboard. Yes, it would have been cheaper to do sheetrock, but I hate sheetrock. And I wouldn't have had the extra height that I have had I used sheetrock. I mean, I could have put sheetrock up in there, I guess. Uh, I didn't want to fool with it, but it really isn't that much cheaper. Not anymore. All right, let's get this painted.
painted black and that was the very last of the black paint but I do got more in the house it's just not I miss the spot just not semi gloss but it don't matter that's a nice thing about when you use white or black you know you don't go in and ask for black and they say which kind of black black same thing with white it's just white so this is the last of it but I've got a I think I got a whole gallon of there of the house paint same stuff it's interior it's just satin not semi gloss and I like using semi gloss in here because it's wipeable uh, and it's got that little shine to it makes it look good all right well that's all I can do for today I'm tired I'm ready to go in I've been out here and doing things a lot longer than just this video I even went to town got some feed and dog food and all that good stuff so we're gonna let this dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna dig out I'm not gonna video it I'm gonna dig out some uh, some more of these one by fours that goes to the room in there that I got tore apart the old office yeah trying to fix that electrical I just haven't got to it yet I've been out here yeah so pretty much what's left let's go look around here's what we got left we got to finish that obviously do the trim on the door I did have to take that thing off and drill a hole through there uh, trim in the corners trim along the baseboards but I gotta wait till I do the floor and trim around the windows yeah I'm I either have to come in here one day and take all that back out and trim it or just wait until fall when I take it out but man that thing that thing works great and I only keep it on low nice and cool in here coolest place on the property man so flooring I am gonna build my workbenches before I put the flooring in because there's gonna be shelves on the bottom part of the workbenches no need to waste flooring if we don't need to this is 200 square feet that'll give me a little a little extra and it's going to be a white color uh, it's gonna you know as white as I can get it and I'm gonna tell you that crap I bought at Ollie's that I put in the cabin it's coming back up and it's good for now but that stuff's terrible and I that was probably my fault because I did not bring in the flooring that day I started it was out in the shed and it was cold and then when I did it, finally bring in about five or six boxes to finish the other half that part's flawless but I've got to tear up the other part and I do have six boxes left so I've got enough to redo it it's just not a pressing matter right now so all right guys well here's your shed video and uh, I'm not gonna follow this with every step I do but this catches you up to where I'm at and Got any ideas? Let me know. Wave to the camera. Yep, yeah, I got cameras in here now. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.